Hello and welcome to this guide video about the tower module update and in this one we'll be covering what these new modules are, how they can benefit you and how you can get them yourself. I'll also be explaining some unique things that I've picked up over the last few weeks since this update has been released. So let's start off with what they are and how to unlock them. Firstly, these modules should be seen as bonuses that increase your main tower's stats, which will include tower damage, tower health, coin bonuses and even ultra weapon damage if you have any. And don't worry if this is your first time in seeing this, it can seem overwhelming, but luckily it's hard to get anything wrong while you're here. So I'm sure after a couple of days you'll be able to pick this up, or possibly even after watching this video. To start earning your own modules, you need to get to round 90 on tier 2, which shouldn't take people too long to reach, even from the beginning. If you want help in getting past a certain tier or level, then make sure you leave a comment on this video and I'll get back to you with a game plan on how to get past that level. But back to the modules, let's start off with the best ways in earning them once you have them unlocked, and that'll be through the events that come around every two weeks. There are going to be a couple of ways in earning these modules, but events are definitely going to be the best way in earning them. Through your time in events, you'll be earning medals through doing missions, and after collecting enough medals, I would buy at least two lots of diamonds to gain 300 diamonds in total to give you a nice helping boost in earning these modules. Once you have gained at least 20 diamonds, if that's all you might be able to get for now, let me show you the process of buying them and a rough idea of what you can be earning. From the home screen, you're going to click on this icon here and be taken to the modules page. And you may have a couple of modules already, but for now, there's no harm in just buying more since this will be a long process of getting the best ones possible. So with all the diamonds you may have, even if it's just 20 that you've managed to scrape together, press either the times 1 or times 10 at the top of the screen. In this instance, I'll be paying for the times 10 to show you what your screen could look like. From here, it will give you a random pop-up of all the modules that I've earned, and it doesn't really matter about the naming scheme, it's all about the colour for the rarity and the shape of where you can use it. But again, that last part really doesn't matter too much for now. So just click through and see if you get lucky by earning a purple, but for most people, it'll be 1-3 to three blues with which are called rares. Once you've collected your modules, you can now add them to the specific slots and this part is much easier than you think. Just click on each picture at the bottom and add the best rarity you have for each slot by clicking on the modules and pressing equipped. Commons being the worst, then rares and then finally epics being purples. The next part you shouldn't do until you have all of your slots filled at the very top. And this goes specifically for beginners or anyone that hasn't unlocked the modules just yet. And that will be by clicking on the shatter option in the middle and then selecting the auto shatter feature for the common modules in the top left. Once you have all of your slots filled, all remaining and future commons can be just shattered straight away. There's no need to keep earning them since you can't merge them and improve them later down the line, and by shattering them you can gain some extra materials to upgrade your rarer ones further. Having this feature on not only saves you time, but it actually has a big benefit to improving your current modules that you want to keep. Whether you shatter your modules you don't want, complete missions, or by paying for them through events, you'll be earning yourself this currency or materials however you want to see it. These will upgrade the same shape of the module to improve their basic stats, and to upgrade a module you can't be in a round so you have to do this from the home screen, and you simply just need to click on it and then click on the button upgrade. These modules will get more expensive over time, both in coins and materials, but don't worry, if you shatter them later down the line, you'll get everything back that you put into it. I can't say for sure if this will include merge modules, but that will be for another video. Now there's only three more things I need to talk about. Merging, rerolls, and epic abilities. So let's start off with merging, and don't worry if you're not ready for this yet, it can still be useful to see the process of what you need to do. When it comes to merging rare modules, you need to have three of the same module to make it become a rare plus. So it's very important to keep all of your rare modules you get from now on to make better modules down the line. So here's an example of merging three rares into a rare plus, which again is very simple, and you get to see the improvements in the top right. To merge epics, this is quite lucky at least, you only need to have two of the same module to merge it into an epic plus status. This will take a long time to gain epics though, so never shatter any epics you get as well. I will have a future video on how to merge rares into purples, and how to do really well in events, so make sure you get subscribed to not miss out and get left behind. And also like the video if you've been finding this useful so far, just to show me how many people have been joining it. The next thing I wanted to talk about was about rerolls. Rerolls allow you to change the small abilities that each of your modules have, and these rerolls can only be collected from killing bosses. And just as a small tip, the higher the tier that you're doing, the more rerolls you can earn from the killing the bosses. 
For example, if I click on this module here, you'll be able to see it has a critical chance bonus and an attack speed increase. Now the rerolls allow you to swap out the ones that you don't want for something that you might, but unfortunately it will cost you to keep the ones that you do like. If I wanted to reroll all the stats for new ones, it would cost me 10 reroll materials. But if I wanted to lock one of these abilities down because I actually do want it, it would actually cost me 50 to then reroll for the next one. For now, this won't seem too expensive and 50 might not seem so bad. But if I was to show you my epic that can hold three small abilities, it would actually cost me 200 rerolls to keep two of the small abilities to then change the third one. That's a large increase just for a small chance for something better, but this is just something to expect as you get better and better in this tower game. If you have any questions by this point, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. The last thing I wanted to talk about today will be the unique effects that you get from epic modules and above. When you click on one of these epic modules, you will see at the bottom that you gain a special ability. This ability will be different depending on the type of module that you have. You can also go a little further and click on the ability and see how far that ability will be leveled up if you was able to make it all the way to an ancestral level. This goes to show that epics are really worth getting and using as soon as possible, and another reason not to destroy them when it comes to merging them in the future. I hope you all found this video useful and make sure you give this video a like if you did. And while you wait for the next tower game video, why not check out these gameplays I've done on myself, whether it's probably scared me or just been a well-designed game that's worth checking out.